I'm Ryan Seacrest. Last week, the music world lost another beloved artist. Poor Powers, the frontman of the band Firefly, was found dead in his mansion that stands behind me. Police determined the cause of death from choking on the popular multi-grain cereal life. Despite the hilarious irony, the world was shocked and there was much crying over this spilled milk. The special will shed some light on the life of the late Core Powers. Take a look back at his rise to stardom and look back at... Are you kidding me right now? We're in the middle of something. You're walking your overgun rap right through my shot. I'm sorry. Honestly. Please. Get out of here. Go. Please. Honestly. Jesus Christ. Anyway, we'll take a look back at the illustrious career of the front man of one of our generation's most famous bands, Firefly. Yeah, I met him at a bar and, you know, uh, he had this real shit job just cleaning up the bathrooms. Bryce Hampton was the first member Corey recruited into his cause after he heard him play for a mariachi band called Cuckoo for Cucaracha. And, uh, you know, after my gig, he, he just went up to me and was like, hey man, you want to start a band? And, Absolutely, dude. I need to get out of here. With two-thirds of the band complete, all that was missing was a drummer. They got one in Darby Rhodes. Yeah, it was the summer of 98, and, you know, we scored tickets to see Kid Rock uh, from my cousin, Joe C. Who? The Midget. Oh. Uh, and, you know, what really you know, was the best was the drummer, man. Yeah, man, they walked up to me after the Kid Rock concert and asked me if I was tired of being a backup. I'm like, yeah, man, I'm too good to be a backup. And then they said, well, with us, you'll never be a backup again. And the rest is history. The band got a record deal and began their journey into superstardom. I came up with Firefly because, uh, you know, we just live in a dark world, man, and we're like these bright, amazing creatures. We just like shine light everywhere, you know? And that's, that's what my music does. Just, uh, just like the light in people's dark lives, you know? He truly was an inspiration, wasn't he? I'm staying in the band's first apartment. Not much is it. But soon, Firefly will be living that fast, reckless lifestyle all rock stars do. They were hitting their prime, and they made sure everyone knew it. You're short $30. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Firefly's first album, titled Out of Nowhere, went multi platinum within a month. And the rock star of the year is. Cord Powers! Thank you guys so much. Uh... And their rock star success was accompanied with a rock star lifestyle full of drugs, sex, and alcohol. In breaking news, the band Firefly is at it again with their crazy antics at the San Diego Zoo, where they did cocaine with a panda bear. Talk about pandemonium. <laughs> but seriously, the panda bear later overdosed and died. We were so famous we could do anything we wanted. We were untouchable. They really were untouchable, but it wouldn't last long. Eventually, Rock and roll lifestyle would prove too much for them to handle. Hey, hey, what the fuck change? are you doing? Can Don't I fucking touch me. Are you sitting kidding me right need, now? I just need like a dollar. Sir. You're talking to me with your filthy overhand, you goddamn kidding me? I just need a dollar. Honestly. Jesus. Eventually, the band couldn't handle all the fame and fortune, and their fall would begin with the release of their second album. The band's second album, titled Shine Your Light, bombed, and was ripped apart by critics and fans alike. In one review, it said, I would rather have someone pluck every individual hair from my scrotum then listen to this album for more than a minute. Firefly tries to stage a comeback, but their huge egos prevent them, and they begin fighting with each other. It's my sex appeal and music ability that's the glue that's holding this band together. What makes you think I need you? I can make it on my own. I'm the fourth of a generation. I will good luck enjoying everybody with you and your stupid guitar. Inevitably, Firefly breaks up. Cord spends years trying to reinvent himself, but fails every time he tried, all the way up to his unfortunate death. Cord was a dick, but despite everything, he was a great guy, and I'd still be stuck in Arizona if it weren't for him. Everybody dreams of being on top of the world for a little while, and we got to live it, all thanks to Cord. You know, despite the controversial lifestyle, Cord had a pretty big impact on the music world. And now, he's a music guy. I'm Ryan Seacrest. Thanks for watching.